guys, so today I'm doing my unboxing of my Petite Vor box and my Sephora Play. So I have been getting Petite Vor and Sephora Play for the past couple of months and I figured I should show you guys what I get every month. That might be something interesting for some of y'all so I will do unboxings. Um, I'll try and see if I can use these products too before my next unboxing so I can give you a review and a unboxing of the next month. So keep your eyes out for that. So let's start with Petite Vore. This is I believe a $15 month subscription. It has all cruelty free, natural, and vegan products in this little box which is fantastic. I believe you get five samples. Not 100% sure exactly every month how many samples you get. I'll link their website down below but I have really been enjoying the products in my Petite Boy box and I figured I will share with you guys what I got this month. So when you open it up it says the creme de la cruelty free because again everything in this box is cruelty free and it's $15. You also get a little card that says everything that is in your box for the month and prices things like that how to use it so let's just get started with what's in here so this first item is from zabana essentials it's a sugar and salt body scrub this sample is worth four dollars and a full size of this is seventeen dollars so it's a blend of pure plant botanicals and minerals that revitalizes and nourishes the skin exfoliating the dead skin away revealing softer, smoother, moisturized skin. Use one to two times weekly. Cleanse skin, then massage gently in circular motions while in shower. Rinse away remaining scrub. Pat skin dry to allow the remaining oils to seal and moisture on skin. So this is a scrub, like they said, so I could definitely use this in my shower. Um, it says it's in the scent coconut, which is nice. $4 for that much scrub is not too bad, actually. It says in here it has sugar, dead sea salt, has um, sodium bicarbonate, aloe vera, vegetable glycerin, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, coconut extract, coconut shell powder, cocoa powder, and then vitamin E oil. Everything's organic. So everything that I just said sounds amazing. It is definitely a natural, organic, and I am excited to give this scrub a go. I'll be interested to how they package the full size of that, if it comes in a tub or what, but that will be a nice product to play with. This next product is from Tay. It's the Essentials Oil Bar Soap in Juniper Lake. Now, this little sample here is $4. A full size is $16. It says, imagine taking a bath in an ancient salt cave. An all-in-one soothing blend of aromatherapy, of detoxification, wash off the stress for, of a long day and awaken the senses of this brightly scented cleansing bar. Now, I'm not a huge fan of bar soaps. I do prefer like a gel, but I will give this a go. It does smell really good. Mm. And I do like how it's like still packaged in really pretty paper. The packaging is really beautiful. So it is made in the USA, Brooklyn, New York. So I will definitely give this a go. My shower is going to be so good with this bath salt and the soap. Now a lot of these do come from the United States. I wonder where the Sabana is located. But yeah, this is located in New York, which is really cool. like to support American brands. Next product here is from Adorn. This is the matte setting powder. This size right here is $5. A full size is $32. I think that's a little pricey for my opinion for this little bit to be $5 and then like a full size to be $32. Then again, it seems like it's similar price range as Laura Mercier. Um, powder. I'm just not a huge fan of loose powder like this. I do prefer a pressed powder, but I will give this a go for you guys. It says Adorn Silky Loose Mineral Setting Powder glides across the skin to absorb oil and reduce the appearance of shine, resulting in a perfect finish without leaving a trace of color. So it is a translucent powder. A light application over the top of your foundation will ensure it's 
it lasts all day long. Extend eye makeup wear by pressing the setting powder on top of the eye makeup with either a brush or a fingertip. I didn't think about that for setting powder, so we'll give this a go. Again, I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm not gonna purchase a full size, but I am interested in the brand and trying that product. Next product is from RL Linden & Co. This is the La Bomba Rosa. And it is full size retailing for $9. It says, we call this Beyond Silky Pink Balm a semi-gloss. It adds more moisture than a gloss and more shine than a balm. Although formulated for lips, we found that it also works wonders for to soften and heal cuticles, soothe inflamed skin, and moisturize dry patches. Our favorite use is to liberally apply it at bedtime, waking up with soft, pampered, utter, utterly kissable lips. So this is the product right here. It doesn't have much of a scent to it. It is like a light pink. Definitely feels moisturizing, but there's no real color on the back of my hand. So I will try this out, but I don't think it's gonna have color. It's just kinda gonna be like a chapstick, but you could also use it as what they said for your cuticles, things like that. So I'll keep you guys updated. But again, the first ingredient is coconut oil, then you have candelia wax, meadow foam, seed oil, jojoba oil, avocado fruit oil, castor seed oil, rose flower oil, vanilla extract, and alkanet root. So that's not bad. Those aren't bad ingredients to put on your lips. So I will keep you guys updated with that product. And then the last product I have here is from OC. It is the Sea of Minerals Mist. This little guy right here is $16. The full size is $38. They definitely give you a good size sample of this product. This is one fluid ounce. Uh, this nour nourishing elixir delivers immediate hydration and prepares skin for maximum absorption of serums and toners. Organic patogen, oh my gosh, these, sometimes these ingredients. Organic patagonian, patagonian? Seaweed, dead sea salt, and aloe vera provide mineral rich hydration and help soften skin for a balanced tone and soothed complexion. Supercharged with mineral peptides to plump skin, the sea mineral mist reduce appearance of surface redness and pores for a perfectly revitalizing look. So this is a skincare product that you apply after you wash your face. It's kind of like maybe a toner-ish before your moisturizer. I like that it comes with the pump. This almost feels, yep, it's glass. So this is a really nice little sample. And again, it was $15, so you definitely get your money's worth just alone in this product. This is $16, and the box is $15. So I would definitely recommend you guys check out Petite Vor if it's something you're interested in, if you are interested in trying more natural, cruelty-free products. Petite Vor is a nice one. And I'll keep you guys updated with these products during the month, either in sample Sunday videos or empties, or I'll keep, I'll let you guys know how these products were for next month. So that is Petite Roar. Now we have Sephora Play. Now with Sephora Play, it is $10 a month. Um, I do believe you can only get like one box per address. I'm not 100% sure. Now with this, you fill out a beauty guide or whatever for your skincare, hair care, that kind of stuff, and they give you a box. Now with this for play, it is not all cruelty free, it is not all natural, anything like that. So it's definitely a gamble if it's something that you are purchasing or wanting but are trying to be a little bit more cruelty free, natural like me. I still love me some Sephora so I do get the little samples. I'd rather try a little small sample of a product even if it is non cruelty free so I could give you guys my thoughts and feedback of the actual products that I have tried without purchasing a full size. But let's just get into it. So when you open it up, it has like love tips, tricks, and beauty hacks with a little card. This is a card that comes in every month. It tells you about the products that you are getting, how to use it, and it has like a little Sephora play card that you can redeem for 50 points. The bag this month says Glamp Out. It's really cute, kind of like a picnic-y kind of bag, and I love that it's pink picnic checkered kind of bag. So really cute, you always get a bag in this foreplay. 
So let's get into it. So the first thing is from Clinique. This is the Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. Now Clinique is not cruelty free, but I will definitely give this a go. Um, I am definitely on the verge of trying to find new cleansers and just kind of relatable cleansers. So this is something I am interested in and this is a really great size product. So pretty happy with that. Just wish Clinique was cruelty free. Next thing is from IT Cosmetics. This is the Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I am super excited this is in the bag. I have been wanting and thinking about purchasing a full size of this to give it a go. Love that I have a deluxe sample to try out of this. IT Cosmetics is cruelty free, so thumbs up for that one. But yeah, I'm excited to try this out this month. Next thing is from Mon Guerlain. You always get a fragrance in your Sephora play box. A lot of fragrances, just in general, are not cruelty free, but I still like perfume. I am going to only purchase cruelty free ones, but I am gonna try and use sample fragrances as I can. And this again is Mon Guerlain. It has lavender, jasmine, sandalwood, and vanilla. Let's give this baby a go. Sprayer doesn't work too well on this. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. This is a nice scent, so I'm definitely going to use this scent this month. Then I have, this is from Madam CJ Walker. This is the Wonderful Deep Conditioning Mask, Hydrating and Conditioning. So this, they say, is certified organic and cruelty-free. I haven't seen this brand on either Cruelty Free Kitty or Logical Harmony, and so you kind of, it's a what do you believe kind of thing. I'm just gonna believe they are cruelty free. So thumbs up for that. And this is a hair mask. I love trying hair masks and trying to find the best one out there. I haven't really found one yet, so I would definitely give this one a go and try it out. I feel like I'm really shiny right now. Let's tone the face down. I just got a, caught a glimpse of myself. Hopefully this works. Hopefully that works a little bit. Hopefully I'm not as shiny as I thought I saw myself because it's the end of the day and I have a light and it's hot and maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just hot. Oh, summertime. So this next product is from Fresh. This is the rose face mask infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones. I think I have tried a small sample of this already. Fresh is not cruelty free. So downside for that, but, ooh. Oh, it definitely has like the little rose petals in there. I do believe I've tried this before. I don't think I had any positive or negative real feel to this. So I will definitely give this a go again and let you guys know. And then the last product is from Tarte. This is the Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Set Sail. So I have purchased like a deluxe two set of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks and if you guys follow me you know they like both kind of were so soft they fell out and were like not good little samples. They looked kind of just like this so in using this I'm going to be very very careful that I don't mess it up. So this is the shade Set Sail. And that is what the shade looks like right there. It's a nice like red berry, more like a red brick. I don't know. I don't know. I can give it a go. Definitely a more like everyday shade, which is awesome. I feel like Sephora Play was giving us a bunch of like crazy hot pink shades that no one really would wear. So I like having something more that I would wear every day. So those are my Sephora Play and my Petite Vore unboxing. Let me know if you guys like the unboxing type videos. Again, I try, I'm going to try and use these products this next month, let you guys know how I feel next month right before I show you guys my August boxes but these boxes like have come later in the month and later in the month so I haven't been getting them on the 15th like I normally do but I'll keep you guys updated with what I have and my thoughts on them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!